Ernie, you and I have never met before, but um, after seeing you in Ghostbusters, I have a feeling that I'm going to meet you now and in the future because I'm sure you're going to get some film offers, more film offers, I uh, should say, from this. I hope you're right. <laughs> <laughs> um, is it true that when uh, this whole project was first getting going that they didn't want you for this role of Winston? Yeah, I, I think uh, in the very beginning they had a different concept of the character. Uh, I don't think there was ever a doubt as to who the other three would be, but the fourth member of the Ghostbusters was, I think they were, since it's a comedy, I think they were looking more in the direction of comedians. I'm not sure about this, this is my impression, so Ivan Reitman would probably know more than anybody, but I think that was the concept. Uh, I think they were probably looking for someone physically smaller. Uh, I did a film for Ivan Reitman called Space Hunter about a year ago, and the character was uh, bigger in a sense, and his, his attitude, he believed in himself in a different way. Uh, my head was shaved, and I think Ivan still thought of me somewhat in those terms, based on that character. Uh, when I heard about it, uh, I felt that I could contribute something, and so it was a matter of getting into him and showing him there are other sides and there are other places that I can go. Did you ever feel that maybe they wanted uh, you to be more like an Eddie Murphy type off-the-wall person? Well, I think they were uh, wise enough and, and understood that uh, uh, I'm not Eddie Murphy. Uh, that's not for better or worse, it's just that I'm not <laughs> Eddie Murphy's Eddie Murphy. And we all have uh, different things that we offer. We all come from different places and they're all very special and we, we present things in a different way. And they allowed me the freedom to do my thing and not expect of me somebody else's stuff. So I never got that sense that that's what they were looking for. Working with these three fellows who know one another for a long, long time, did you feel at any time, especially in the beginning, Ernie, like the new kid on the block? Uh, yeah, I think um, you know, working with a group of people who've been very uh, successful together as a team and coming into that, uh, there naturally would be sense of uh, being new to the block or whatever you want to call it. And I think it takes a little while, or at least in this case it did, to build a certain trust. You know, I knew who they were because they're so visible, but I knew that they did not know me in the sense of what my uh, offerings would be and my abilities were. So what changed their minds? After a short time, and a, a very short time, we, they learned, I think, or they felt they could trust me. And, uh, and we began to, to gel. Was it always a lot of fun on the set? I mean, a lot of joking and all that sort of thing? Yeah, it was a, it was a very free set compared to, to most things. Uh, it's kind of hard to work with Bill and Dan and Harold and not, not have fun, but um, it was still work. And uh, I think back on it, like I think back on when I was in the seventh grade and I think, oh, it was a wonderful year and it was great. But then when I really examined closely, I see that there were moments, I and mean, it was not all uh, fun. With all your academic background, you've had a lot of experience with college theater, mm -hmm. and you've directed and mm -hmm. acted and all that. Do you approach acting in a more intellectual way as opposed to these fellows who might go more with their instincts? Different actors have different ways of working. Uh, the best thing about the educational training that I have is uh, after learning as much as I thought, I think I've learned, is to forget about it, because it really gets in the way. Um, the, uh, performance has to be honest, or it just doesn't work for me. Uh, and they are honest; they're very honest. I don't, it, certainly, instinct is there, and but I don't think it's a lack of uh, other knowledge. I just think it's it's getting to that source that that makes it uh, believable. It makes it work. And uh, the thing in this film, we were going for what worked and nothing was really sacred, you know, in that sense, but, uh, yeah, so that's, I'm not sure if I answered that question, but. No, I, I think, um, uh, I wonder also along those same lines, because I get this all the time, young people saying to me, gee, you know, I want to be an actor, and I don't know what to do. My parents want me to go to college mm -hmm. and oh, yeah. do it that way, but I'd really just like to strike out and, and try to, you know, learn mm -hmm. it as I'm doing it. What advice do you give them? I think uh, in starting out as an actor, you have to recognize that you have to build a base. 
that's what you your career will, will stand on. And I've seen people go into it and and get some pictures and go and get an agent and, and expect to be stars uh, two days from now. And maybe there are some rare, rare cases of that happening. But the, the broader your base is, the better your chances of surviving and making a living. I've been able to work and keep working because I see myself first as a character actor. And uh, I've done a lot of roles with hair, without hair, beards, accents. You know, what, what it, it calls for being flexible. And I think the more you do in terms of getting education, the more you know about what you're doing, the better your chances are. You have to broaden your base. If I could only do serious uh, uh, work, then I'd be closed out in terms of comedy. If I only dealt with comedy, I couldn't do this stuff. So it's being able to do both. So you think then that going to college and perhaps majoring in theater is a very good way to I do it? I think it's a very good way to do it. I think there are a lot of community groups. Uh, I think if you're going to be an actor, you have to act. If you're going to be an actor, you have to find a place to act. And it is not necessarily me. I have some friends say, well, I wouldn't do a film unless I did all of this. I wouldn't do this if I think you have to act. And you have to realize that some jobs you'll make a lot of money and some jobs you'll make no money. And it all balances out in the end. But the important thing is to act. You don't know if you can do it until you do it. <laughs> you know, uh, so it's finding a place where you can do what you say you're about doing. Well, Ernie, we know you can act because we just look at you up there in Ghostbusters and say, hey, <laughs> Space Hunter, the other things that you've done, too. Yeah. I've enjoyed very much having this chance to talk with you, and good luck to you, and I just know Ghostbusters is going to be a terrific hit for you. Great. Thanks. I've enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you.